Captain Walter Francis Duke was a St. Mary's County resident born and raised in Leonardtown. In July 1941, he entered the Royal Canadian Air Force. In May 1942, after the United States had entered the war, he was discharged from the RCAF and joined the Army Air Corps. By the age of 21, Duke was a captain and an ace fighter pilot. In December 1943, he was transferred to the newly formed 459th Fighter Squadron, the Twin Dragons, which had been issued the new P-38 Lightnings. P-38 proved to be the most adaptable of all wartime fighters, able to perform and perform well any number of missions assigned it. The Germans nicknamed it Der Gabelfranz Teufel, which meant the fork-tailed devil, and the P-38 could fly 2,000 miles. It was genuinely America's first long-range fighter. Immediately in demand in every theater of war, it gave the Army Air Forces great hope that we could, at last, meet the Germans and the Japanese on equal or better terms. In March 1943, the Allies began pushing the Japanese Air Force out of Burma. Not all targets in the Pacific were static, and Japanese fighters could be prey and predator alike. From March to May that year, Captain Duke scored 10 confirmed kills, 8 probable kills, 13 damaged aircraft, plus more destroyed or damaged on the ground. This made him the leading ace of the entire 10th Air Force. On June 6, 1944, while returning from a mission, he could not account for his wingman. He went back into the combat area to perform a search, was never heard from again, and was reported missing in action. After the war ended in Burma in May 1945, intelligence revealed that on the 6th of June, Captain Duke was jumped by several Japanese KI-43 Oscars. He was reported to have shot down three of them before he himself was shot down. These kills were never credited to him as there are no gun camera film or eyewitness accounts. Captain Duke was the recipient of the Silver Star, Purple Heart, American Service Medal, American Defense Medal, and many others for his honorable service in the military. And he remains to this day a hometown hero and a true inspiration to future generations at the Captain Walter Francis Duke Elementary School, where children soar.